dispersed. I've thought that for a long time. Dispersed? <laughs> it's a lot to scatter. <laughs> Ever since Meghan Markle came here, while she brought her dogs with her, I knew that uh, she was uh, determined her to uh, <laughs> take the place over. She she took she brought her dogs with her. She did, yes. When the, she first came into that little cottage that they had in the grounds of. Uh, How did she get her dogs in? Uh, I, I didn't know if she brought them on a plane or something. Well, I didn't think you were supposed to bring dogs in. I thought they had to go to quarantine. And, yeah. Unless the special favours are given to the royal family, but that would oh, never yeah. happen in this country, uh, surely. We're all equal in the eyes of the law. Uh, they would be. So, uh, anyway, I think it's time for uh, Charlie to have his chance. It's been the same for far too long. Quite out of date, really. But uh, anyway... Yeah, about a couple of hundred years, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, ever since... Uh, <laughs> I used to twist the numbers around, but we got up to 2020, so it's the same. But, um, and as for Madonna, Madonna, uh, Madonna, Madonna. She's, <laughs> she's um, a rather of a blasphemer, because uh, he hasn't been a... a, a, a I'm sorry, are we, are we talking about Madonna now? No, I just mentioned, because I've oh. got my... I've got my guitar here now. My oh. girlfriend got me a guitar. a guitar. She took it on three buses to bring it in the centre of London. Oh, it sounds beautiful. Isn't it beautiful? Right. So once I get the strap on it, then it will be fine. Well, that, what you do in the privacy of your own home, Miss Sophia, is entirely up to you. Trillionaire tweets, unprecedented modern challenge. What does that mean? I am listening to you live over the internet in New York City. Prove right now while on the air that you, Nick Abbott, are a real person and not a computer simulation. Affirmative. Uh, Kay says, I managed to find that lovely version of our national anthem you play on your show. It's now my ringtone, just to show how I feel about the royals in public. Yeah, I mistakenly have got this as my ringtone. <laughs> I mean, it's quite surprising how often you hear that sound. I mean, it's on TV or the news, and it's uh, on... Um, uh, adverts on the radio and it's on all sorts of things so I'm constantly thinking my phone's going off but it never does nobody loves me stop whining um, Patrick in Guildford says making your peace with Hassan Rouhani will be a doddle Mr. Trump just crush the economy with brutal sanctions then scatter a million terrified refugees in all directions before you hammer the country flat what a great negotiator you are <laughs> well, he's a smart person. Trust me, I'm like a smart person. He's a tremendous negotiator. That noise in the background of Sophia's call was her playing the guitar while talking to me. No. Um, you can still hear it. What's your heart? because I usually don't give two figs about royalty, but I really believe Mrs. Markle and her husband have treated his family and the UK with disrespect. They have been treated really well, and they and all they did was <laughs> moan. Whinging and whining and moaning. So now they prefer to go sofa surfing around Canada than live in their newly renovated home. All I can say is bye-bye, uh, says uh, Tina. Bye-bye. Yeah. It's been nice knowing you. Can we have our 2.4 million pounds back, please, that you uh, blew on tartan up the cottage that you're not going to be living in anymore? 
but you know it's just money and we've got loads of it no that's right we haven't got any at all we have no money at all zero money we've got nothing at all zero I don't want to get into it, but um, maybe I'll just give you a bit of this. You know, here's uh, some perspective. Too much bleeping perspective. Glaucoma pe patients are being left to go blind on the NHS due to lengthy delays for appointments, a report has found. The Health Care Safety Investigation Branch estimates 22 people will fully or partially lose their sight every month as a result of the delays in England. It's all about the money, honey. We ain't got none. And this is to be expected after 10 years of a disastrous Labour government under the appalling leadership of Prime Minister Jeremy Corbyn. Oh, no, wait, that's right. It's been the Conservatives in whose hands the NHS is safe, who've been in power. Still, the country has decided that the party to trust with fixing the problems is the one who caused them. It's the will of the people. The Healthcare Safety Investigation Branch launched an investigation after an unidentified 34-year-old mother went blind as a result of 13 months of delays to follow up appointments for glaucoma. Why? Money. We pour an unlimited amount all over the royal family. 82 million pounds to the Queen this year. 82 million pounds. How many appointments would that have bought for the person that just went blind? 22 people a month. The mother was a left unable to properly care for her children. She was confined to her home. Her husband was forced to slash his hours at work to look after the family. It's like a, uh, a ripple effect of misery. Why? Money. We prioritize the wrong things. We have no end of money for weapons of mass destruction. If you want to kill people, there is an open check. You want to save people? Well, I'm very sorry, but the cupboard is bare. The whole world has gone crazy, insane. And, and it's gone that way by, by being led by people who claim to have faith in God. <gasps> That's what Jesus would do. He'd spend the money on nuclear weapons rather than healing the sick. I'm pretty sure it said that in the Bible. Anyway, it's too depressing. I can't read the rest of it. But that is a little bit of a perspective as to what we could be spending the money on rather than just showering it on the, one of the richest families that have ever lived who live the richest life of anybody on earth 